what we're doing is we're going to we're weighing the milk before we steam it, mm -hmm. and then we're going to weigh after to see how much milk or uh, water is introduced. Or and see if there's a weight change. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. That's what I said. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so, so we're starting two, at 200, 200 milliliters. milliliters. Okay, and we're... Particular so we're going to do this on a bunch of machines. We're starting with the GS3. Yeah, hers. That's so quick. I really am, like, in love with this machine. I like it, too. If I was a robot, I would mate with it, Gail. But I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Just a long list of things she'll mate with. <laughs> okay. 232. So now we're going to do the... I already took the steam off of that, or the moisture off. Moisture. And so that started out also at 200 yep. milliliters. Two twenty-seven. The other one was what? Two thirty-two. So, a little bit of less. Two hundred milliliters. We're gonna Sylvia. work it out on the Sylvia. <laughs> Here's the noise I always make when it's hot enough. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Two forty-eight. Yeah, put in more than it. All oh, the rest. other two. Okay. Two hundred yep. milliliters. Now yes. on to the Venezia. Not as hot as the others yet. It's getting there though. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. I just heard the noise. You're like a little monkey. Whoa! 227, like the rocket. Interesting. Huh. I'm speechless. <laughs> wow, okay. Jura C5 is our, is our first super auto our target. test guinea. Two thirty-one for the Jura C5. Okay, Talea Touch Plus, two hundred milliliters. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what's now with you the, in that song? I don't, I don't know. Once in a while, I get that one in my head. <laughs> I still have Henry's modified. If you like it, then you better put a pit on it. <laughs> yeah. Getting there. Yeah, yeah, that's hot. Okay. You ready? Drum roll, please. 231. 231. All right. Now I wanted to test our standalones, the Arachino versus the, the Presso Froth Pro. Ooh. So we will be right back. Yes. So the Arachino is at 121. We couldn't do the full 200 that we've been doing before because we've got a max line on there. Yep. <clears throat> 121, right? Yes. Now, theoretically, this shouldn't weigh any different, right? Because we're not throwing water in. That's my thought. I mean, you're not putting any water in, and you're just injecting air, which weighs nothing. Yeah. Air does weigh nothing, doesn't it? Um, it's 121. Okay. 120. Well, essentially, though. The same. That's This, this scale sometimes will... There. Yeah, okay. I mean, so it's, it's right on the cusp. Yeah. So, so no change. No change. All right, now let us try the Capresso Froth Pro. Yes. So this is 239 um, starting out. Mm-hmm. A little. Okay. What was that reading? 238. And, and we're at 239. It did 239. This, well, you know what? It did the same thing as the Nespresso. Where it kind of had a one a little bit of a yeah, difference. Yeah. Just a very minor one though. It's so minor though. I don't know if you can really yeah, okay. see it's just went up yeah. to two thirty nine and back down again. It's it's so Okay. So it's the same basically. Yeah. All right. So let's pause and reflect. One moment. So the Arachino and the uh, Froth Pro, Compresso Froth Pro, they were virtually the same because you're not injecting steam. Yes. But then we did the we did the G S three. And the rocket, Sylvia, Via Venezia, and the Jura. The And the Talia Touch. And the Talia Touch. The best of the bunch. Drum roll please. <laughs> was the rocket. Put in less. Yeah. It put in twenty seven milliliters of uh, air or water. Yeah, but then, the Venezia was neck and neck with it. That's right. The, the Venezia. So was they're the same. so they're both the, yeah, they're, they're both, both the best. They're both the best. And then the let's see the Jura. 231, it came in uh, second. Okay. 
And then the uh, GS3. Was. But then the Sylvia put in the most, 48 milliliters. Okay, and um, what was the Seiko? The Seiko... The Tele Attach. Where is it? It's, oh, there it is. Yeah. Uh, 231, so it put in 31 milliliters as well. Same it as the Jura. It was the, the same as the Jura, so they were identical. And the GS3 was 232, so... Right around there. Right around there, too, but the GS3 obviously does it much faster and yeah. does a nicer foam. Yeah. So the Sylvia, the most water heaviest, which is kind of one of the things we run into with that. We've talked to people about, you know, when they say it's difficult to get foam, that kind of thing, is that the steam is wetter. But I'm really surprised that the Venezia's... Was at the top of the heap. Yeah. Because when, we cool. when we were blowing the steam out the, yeah. the, over the, the water in the beginning, the mm -hmm. uh, condensated water, there was a lot of it. Yeah. So maybe that's the key to that then, is blowing out a lot more. Maybe, mm -hmm. maybe we needed to blow out more on the... Sylvia, I don't know. Well, it seemed I blew pretty it dry. Until it was dry. Yeah. Appearing to be dry and consistently dry. No All more right. drip, drip, drip. So that's our practical test of uh, yeah. how much water is being injected mm -hmm. into the steam. Yeah. The... It kind of surprised me. Very. I, I definitely felt like I thought the GS3 was going to be at the top of the pack because mm -hmm. it seems to have such a drier steam. I know. I agree. Yeah. It weren't. Just a couple milliliters off. But. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. I mean, you know. Yeah. Let's not split hairs. Okay, Gail. For this one time, we won't. Okay. Thank you very much, Gail. Catch you later.